Hey, what's up guys? This is Quinn, and this is my six months on testosterone video. Uh, today I am 29 weeks on T. Um, on the 27th of January, I will be seven months. So I'm a little late making this video, but it's been crazy with uh, the holidays and stuff lately. So, um, six months. Pull my wife beater up here. I'm not binding at the moment because I'm about to have top surgery in seven days. So I'm uh, taking Finn's advice, Finn from England, and uh, trying to send kind of positive energy to my chest and good vibes and stuff and not so much hatred. Um, and also, I feel a little bit more... I don't know if I would say comfortable, um, occasionally not binding, just around the house when no one's around, um, but I feel like, you know, it's only seven days till they get cut off, so what's the big deal? Uh, I still, you know, get self-conscious if my roommate or, uh, you know, someone other than Carrie, my wife, uh, comes in the room, you know, I'll put my, my hoodie on and zip it up, but, other than that, it's just you and me, so, let's continue on, so, uh, six months on T, uh, muscle bulk, I really noticed a lot of muscle bulk, uh, there's a lot of muscle changes in my legs, uh, in my arms, I've noticed that my shoulders are, uh, kind of bulky, <laughs> I am trying to fend off my cats. They want to sit on my list. Um, but let me just show you without working out. Um, it's kind of hard. Would you guys stop beating up? Stop. Man, I can't make a video without cat interruptions, I swear. Um, my forearms look a lot bulkier. I don't know if you can see that, but. I feel stupid. I feel like Gumby over here. Um, this is, you know, I have the little lines now. And this is no working out. So, you see how thick my arm looks. Um, not bad. So, muscle bulk, like I said. And especially in my leg muscles. Uh, my legs look completely different than they used to. Which I'm totally fine with. <laughs> um... Also, cramps in my legs, like, crazy. I mean, they hurt so bad. Um, I know bananas help, and, you know, things with potassium in them. So, I've been trying to eat some bananas. Um, my tone still betrays me. Unfortunately, sometimes I'm just a jerk. Tonight, I'm in a horrible mood, so... Uh, I'm up by myself because as soon as anyone else enters the room, my bad mood, bad mood worsens. I don't know why. Maybe I just want to be alone for a second. Maybe I just know that if someone else is in the room with me right now, it won't be pretty. So, maybe I'm just doing the world a favor <laughs> by sequestering myself back here in my music room. Um... So, yeah, my tone betrays me. I sound a lot harsher than I mean to. Um, and most of the time, I don't notice until Carrie says something. But lately, I notice. Like, I can't even stand myself most of the time. And I just chalk it up to puberty. I mean, you know, it wasn't pleasant when I was 14 and 15 years old going through adolescence. So, I just have to remember, these are just mood swings. It'll pass, you know, everything will pass. Um, I have little to no patience. Um, I have a temper, sort of a temper, I guess, at times, a temper, when I've never had a temper before. Um, let's see. Anger. Uh, definitely a new 
and foreign emotion, but the foreign part's fading. Um, it's becoming more commonplace than I want it to. So I've been trying to uh, meditate more and just relax, play more music if I start to feel angry about something, uh, just to take my mind off of how I'm feeling. And usually the music works. Um, other than that, I just have to, you know, go for a walk or go away from everyone for 30 minutes to an hour. <laughs> um, so my hairline has receded. Let me see. I'll stand my hair up for a minute, make it look crazy, but my uh, corners are going back. I don't know if you can tell, but right here... Anyway, let me do my hair for you. But yeah, the, the corners of my hair right there are really the first time I've noticed that they're kind of going away. <laughs> um, which I'm fine with as long as the rest of my hair stays there. <laughs> um, body hair is continuing to darken and come up more often. Um, I have a fine fine thin coating of back hair on the top of my back uh, and you know it extends to probably about right there and then I'm getting these weird long hairs like probably like three or four on each arm up here that just grow up and they're really dark and I pluck them because I'm not a fan um, my goatee I've been trying to grow for a while uh, it's pretty long, I can pull it and everything, but it, just the middle is still lacking. But I'm going to let it keep going, my life digs it, so whatever. Um, let's see, sorry I'm looking at my list down here, I'm actually organized for once. Um, so I'm still sneezing really hard. Uh, I was sick about, uh, I don't know when I was sick, but recently I was sick. And my sneezes came more consecutively than normal. And man, good thing I didn't have my tongue in the way. It would have been gone. It would have been like a bad Saw movie. <laughs> um, I've been passing so well for so long now that, well, so long being, you know, two or three months, that when I don't pass, it's just comical. It's just so funny. It really is. Like, we went through the drive-thru at uh, McDonald's, <laughs> and the lady handed me the bag, and she was like, uh, thanks, ma'am, have a good night. And me and Carrie just looked at each other, and she's like, did she ma'am you? And we just died laughing. It's just hilarious now, and it's so nice that the dysphoria from not passing has taken a back seat. Or disappeared, really. And now it's just, instead of you know, being bothered when people man me. I just think it's funny, like, what girl has this sideburn? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, I am beginning to find out, uh, with the exception of one of my female friends, that besides my wife, I can't really stand to be around a lot of girls for a, a long period of time. Um, it's just, it, eventually it sounds like a bunch of cackling and just too many words and too many words required for me when I don't want to say that many and, you know, I don't know, I just, I guess it's just I'm finally realizing uh, the difference between the sexes. Um, but, yeah, I much prefer the company of males right now, uh, except my wife, because she's my heart. I always want to spend time with her. Um, PC stop, let's see, uh, so, I never really talked about the source of my top surgery money, um, it was a Christmas present, and, well, the majority of it was a Christmas present, I had some saved, um, and the source asked to be anonymous, so I will honor that. But it was an amazing Christmas, an amazing present. And uh, my top surgery is seven days away from today. So, 
one more week with these things and they'll be gone can't even imagine like I can barely sleep at night already I can't imagine the closer it gets I'm just I don't know it's gonna be crazy <laughs> um, and along with that um, my chest hair is starting to come in just a little bit and it's like up here and then it's like right here but it's kind of blonde it's just now darkening um, just a little bit to light brown so that I can actually see it and yes I did count and there are 14 <laughs> um, but I just thought what great timing with the top surgery because I was worried that I would get hairy chest and still have you know the chest I was born with or got during my first adolescence and that would just fuck with my mind hardcore to have a hairy chest and look at it and it not be fully male looking you know so I'm glad that my top surgery is coinciding with my chest hair finally coming in um communication <sighs> it's a work in progress with everyone but especially with my wife um just I don't know if it's because I talk to her the most and communicate with her the most or I communicate with her more deeply than I do other people uh, probably a combination of both of those but we're really working on our communication lately um or I am rather and she uh, points it out to me when I need to which is very helpful like I'm so grateful for her for doing that and for not being offended when she should be sometimes because I, I can be a jerk and I never knew that <laughs> until testosterone but baby if you're watching I love you and I'm sorry <laughs> um, my nails my toenails, my fingernails are thicker. Like, I can barely cut them with the uh, nail clipper. It's just crazy. Like, sometimes it takes me, like, all my might to press down and it still won't pierce it. So, I don't know. I always knew, like, your nails and stuff got stronger. Like, for women who are on prenatal vitamins or pregnant or whatever, stuff like that, I never knew testosterone could do that and I don't know if it is doing that but my nails are thicker um also my hair has gotten a shade darker it's not very good lighting but it used to be the darkest blonde it's still dark blonde but it's a lot more brown especially when it's long like the short stuff you know it's pretty blonde underneath but anyway um so for, on a personal note, um, anyone who knows me in real life might want to turn it off now. It's going to get real. But I'm finding that I orgasm differently now that I have grown. Um, I've always used a strap-on for about 14 years or more. And I've always been able to orgasm that way only. Now that my body has changed down there and there's growth and my, and it's cooperating with me now things have changed um, I used to not be able to masturbate in the normal fashion like you know touching myself never worked now that I've grown it works um, but now that that works I'm having trouble orgasming from the strap-on, which is the only way I could before tea. Um, hopefully that will come back. Hopefully it's just a harness issue, like my body's changing, you know, my fat is redistributing, I'm getting muscle where I didn't have it before, or bigger muscles where I had muscles before, so the harness is fitting me differently. Maybe it's hitting a different spot. I don't know. Sorry to get so personal, but... You know, I gotta be honest, I'm tracking my transition. Um, so yeah, I hope that it really comes back, because I'm having trouble uh, orgasming the way I used to. Not that I'm not enjoying the new way, but, you know, I'd like to, you know, orgasm the old way too. <laughs> so that my wife could be a part of it more. Um... Let's see, I 
think that's it for my list. Um, mentally, I'm, besides my little temper tantrums occasionally and, and, uh, short fuse and lack of patience, <laughs> I feel a lot more calm most days than I have in a long time, probably my whole life. And I really feel like I'm becoming the man I've always meant to be. And I love who I'm becoming. I really do. Um... So we're going to be going to Dr. Garamoni for my top surgery, and we will be in, we're, we're going to be staying at the New Beginnings Retreat. Uh, I'm not sure if that's in Davie, Florida, or Fort Lauderdale, but it's in one of, one of the two. So it'll be, it's founded by a trans man, and trans guys, excuse me, trans guys and their partners stay there, or whoever they're traveling with, uh, stay there to have surgery with Dr. Garamoni, so... I'll be surrounded by all kinds of trans guys. Hopefully I'll make some cool friends. I'm so excited. And uh, I hope you guys have been well. Uh, please comment and let me know how you're doing. And if you have any questions or comments for me. Uh, also, I have a Facebook page for my music. It's uh, facebook.com slash Quinn Oliver Music. Isis, stop. Cats trying to tear up my carpet. So, yeah, I'm recording my uh, solo album and just trying to get my music page out there. Uh, try to get a little bit more exposure. Again, that's facebook.com slash Quinn Oliver Music. So go check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, friend me on there and I'll add you or however it works. Yeah. So I think that's about it. Six months. Oh, yeah, my voice dropped again. Uh, I was sick for about 10 days, and I didn't sing or play guitar or anything, and then I came back and picked up the instrument, and I'm like, holy shit, I can't hit a note. <laughs> um, so I gotta work on that again. But it's been a great ride. Happy half a year old to me. I can't wait for the next half a year, and I can't wait for top surgery. It's gonna be so exciting. If you guys have any tips or comments for me, let me know. Just put it down below. Alright guys, I'll catch you next time. Peace.